Erg. Okay. Really, what's... It doesn't really matter whether Rio or Cole is in the lead, I guess. Uh, but I can get down there and get the floater from this boss right here. And then I've got to do all that whole part of the dungeon a, n a second time. And I've got to do it without Rio, because Rio just got erased. Will and Cole, it is up to you. And you know what? I think I'm probably going to want full or close to full HPs for this. Wow, this... This is going to... Oh, damn it! I should have gave the Zeus Gauntlet a Cole. What am I thinking? Oh, man. Immediate run. Excellent. You know, I'm going to do that anyway. Uh... Get, just in case I run into Zoidbergs. And I don't know how common Zoidbergs are. 82 damage from those R-Bones. Man, Cole. Cole, I fear for your existence, man. The damage tiles, just the icing on this incredibly disgusting cake. But I'm almost out of here. If I could just get back to the top floor, I'm gonna keep Cole's hit points, like, maxed or close to max. I don't even care that I'm wasting potions on him. You get 30 HP per potion from the menu. I don't care if I've got some 27 HP heals. Whatever, I'll take them. What really sucks is getting into an encounter, like, right here. God damn it. And if I lose this encounter, I'm gonna be so upset. No! No, 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 my freaking god, Cole, you are, you're the dude, bro, you are the dude bro to end all dude bros, you're like, you're like Captain Dude Bro. Why didn't I use a soft on Will? I don't know, because I'm dumb, I'm gonna do that right now, I'm gonna soften him. Oh, thank Christ. That was incredibly narrow escape from there. Oh, I don't want to... Hey, screw it. I'll fight him. If they level up too much, I don't care. Cole gets stronger and stronger as he levels up, so the more experience I guess he can soak up, the better. And he will get more experience in these fights because... Homies be dead, yo. I don't like those 99 damage hits. I don't like them. I want to run. I want to get the hisek out of his ear. There are no life potions in this game. They don't exist. The only way to bring people back to life is to use a white mage. And cast a life spell. Insane. I agree. But there you go. Oh man, you guys. We're gonna head right back to Canaria. Get people's resurrected. And then the treasure is gonna start to flow like butter. Like melted butter. You know what? Screw all these guys. I got a Zeus gone. I don't even care. I will eat the four experience or whatever you guys give me. You're not even worth killing. I'm gonna kill you anyway. I'm going to get so powerful in this session, you guys. Before I put the controller down for the day, I'm going to be so amazingly strong. You're going to be like, wow. He used to actually fear Blue Zoids. That's what you're going to say out loud to nobody in particular. And people around you are going to be like, who's that dude talking to? Watching that weird game on YouTube. Because I got the floater. You know what? Fine. Fine. These trolls be trolling me. I'm gonna punch them. Excellent work, Cole. Come on, bring it, suckers. I don't care. This does not bother me one bit. Um... What I would like to see is level 5 magic for Rio. That is my next goal, because the next major boss that I kill... I can't kill... Floater... 
airship. Lovely. Um, I won't be able to kill without level 5 magic, so that'll be my next... I don't know how close he is, either, but I guess we'll find out. First, we got to resurrect and hit the inn. And by hit the inn, I mean go in the front door of the inn and pay money to sleep there, not, like, go to the side of the building and hit it. And I certainly didn't mean anything else by hit it. You and your dirty, dirty minds. Filthy... gutter minds. Drive me crazy. Alright. I got 50,000 gold. Let's go spend all of that at once. Take the airship on up. To the northern lands. Past all these islands. This crazy little desert. And buy a bottle. Yes. And now we'll go this way. To this little mountain town. Use the bottle. And free a fairy. This is the town of Gaia. They sell level 7 and 8 magic. I am way far away from buying any of those magic. They've also got a very important piece of armor here. The Pro Ring, which protects your guys from instant death attacks. Um, usually... Like, they're still susceptible to them, I think, like, 1 out of 256 times. But those are nice to have. That's one of the pieces of the equipment that I will put on Cole, even though, technically, Cole is better off naked. Hey, sup, fairy? Yeah, I'll take your Oxy Ale. Thank you. Oxy Ale is delish. Alright. Now that we got Oxy Ale and no money, the next step is to go get some more money. At these cool little islands, like we've got this one here. Dragon Islands, all kinds of treasure. I'll take a cabin, that's fine. Works for me, man. What do we got in here? More treasure? A little bit of gold? A soft? Cool. Cool beans, bro. <clears throat> and next, we've got... The little marshy island with yet another treasure. It's all treasure rooms. It's like all treasure rooms all the time. It's like, okay, you got your airship. Just here's a boatload of treasure. Enjoy. Ten gold. Whatever. Hardly even worth pushing the button on that treasure box. That one had a house in it. I don't even know how that works. Maybe it's not like actually like a shelter house. Maybe you actually find Gregory House inside the box. And then when you use him as an item, he replenishes all of your hit points. Oh, I have to give his gauntlet back. Duh. Cole just got 184 damage with his fists. Cole, as we understand now, is undoubtedly the man. Like, just the freaking man. You guys, really? You're gonna poison me? You're gonna do me like that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not when I got a heal staff. That doesn't heal poison, it just will reverse some of the damage I've been taking. Because these guys kind of do a lot of damage. Awesome. Let's, uh, put Will back in the lead there. Level 12 I'm getting to now. That looks about right. Is this the correct cave? Yes. I'll just walk down this long passage here. This totally featureless green cavern of just whatever. And then go into this room. With millions and millions of candles in it. Like, whose job is to light all these candles, I wonder? And because I've got the tail, now I have got my class changed, which means my fighters turn into knights, and my black belt turns into a grandmaster, and my black mage turns into a black wizard. I kind of want level 5 magic before I do the next thingy. Um, I don't think that's likely to happen, though because I don't really have any else to level up. Because the next little mini dungeon I've got to go through is only one floor, and I would like to use the warp spell to warp out of the dungeon. But, 
since I can't do that, I'll just, I guess, walk my way out. It'll be, it'll be not that difficult. Now that my dudes are all grown up and decked out and have free lit to as much as they want and a healing staff, and now that Cole's high enough level to just destroy planets with his fists, every day before breakfast, Cole destroys six planets by punching them to death. That's just how he do. Um, where do I need to go next? To buy magic spells, I guess. Um... I guess we'll just start here. Because now that my dudes are knights, knights can actually use some white magic spells. And this is not extremely helpful, but it does give you a couple charges of cure. Just to have it. I don't think they can learn ruse. Oh, they can learn ruse. Okay, well. I had totally forgotten that. They don't have any spell charges yet, but they will eventually. Um, ruse is a cool spell. Hey, you gotta let me out. Awesome. Uh, ruse is a cool spell because it increases your evade, which reduces the amount of uh, damage that monsters can do to you. I don't know, it's just very useful. Um, and it's stackable. So, um, a fire. I don't need a fire, I need a lit. A lit is level 2, maybe? I'll buy cure 2. So if you stack a couple layers of ruse, and then like pretty much nothing will damage you except critical hits. So if you do that with a knight in the lead of the party, who's wearing heavy armor and has tons of hit points, and then there's a weapon later that actually casts the spell ruse. The problem with ruse is it only targets the caster. So when white mages learn it, it's usually not that useful because your white mage is not going to be in the lead of your party. This is what I want, a lit. You know what, I'm gonna get mute too, because just why not? Thank you. And let's go get some level 5 magic. I mean, I have enough gold for level 5 magic. I think it's 8,000 apiece, and I think I need 3 level 5 spells. Level 5 magic, be this way! Said Brick Road, piloting his brand new airship. Here we go. And then if I ever want to just get a bunch of money, I can go back to the ice cave, and there's tons down there in treasure boxes. Rio wants Fire 3, and Warp, and Bane. Think oh, I can't afford that. I'll come back for Bane later. I don't need Bane right this very second. And I know this is the part in the Let's Play where I'm supposed to like slip into a Bane voice and make everybody laugh, but I can't do a Bane voice! Sorry. I still got cabins and lots of heals. Alright, well, let's... Head to the next dungeon, I suppose. Lots of really cool equipment coming up in the next dungeon. I love it. Gators do a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. I don't like it, but... Like, way more than I could possibly keep on top of with the heal staff. Ah. Um, I'll probably hit the inn on the way just to refill all my everything. The Zeus Gauntlet won't do much against these guys because Gators are not weak to light spells, I don't think. It's just really obnoxious. Cole, dude, you're you're in dire shape there, my friend. Not looking so hot. Probably should have hit the end before I came all the way up here, but I didn't. And that's okay. It's really not. I really can't do this next part of the game with two dudes poisoned. I don't even know what an Ocho is. It doesn't have eight of anything. Alright, let's put... Who needs to be in the lead? Will or Jim? Will and then Cole, whatever. He'll survive the next eight steps to town. I knew you could do it, Cole. I need lots and lots and lots of money. Um, I think I'll do this dungeon first. 
I've got the Oxyadle, I can get down into the Sea Shrine. The Sea Shrine is like an experience farm. Like, they want you to gain 70,000 levels in here, it's crazy. 